So the Mutton Tong, what's up? The Kuching Miong is missing. Who knows? Who knows where she is? Um, first time reacting to Jubin Cristianto. Is that how you say that? Um, notes. I'm right first in my music. <laughs> my music. I'm just taking notes on music. Uh, in my notes. Um, yeah, I've, so I've never heard this guy before, but just in the YouTube thumbnails, it looks like he did a TED talk and it looks like he also won some awards. Maybe? So anyways, we see him playing a nylon guitar with a cutaway and it looks like he's in a, a Titan strap to keep it at a 45 degree angle. Which really, if you're gonna play finger style like crazy stuff and you're sitting in a chair, like you wanna have the guitar 45. It really is just better. I'm sorry. I know that can be weird, but it's just better. Anyway, let's see what this sounds like. Very delicate sound. joke if you want to know why i'm saying he's no joke it's not because every little thing he's playing is hard right now it's that his shifting where he's shifting his hand on the guitar he's shifting with almost no noise and just nailing every shift like right there Great shifts, man. Holy cow. Okay. I did not know that. He's out of all the, uh, is he Indonesian? I think, right? I think you said he's another Indonesian guitar player. He is the, out of everyone we've heard so far, like Josephine Alexandra, Leap Bata, Faizan, um, he is the most where he looks like he's actually, he plays with a class, a true classical technique. Um, and everything he did was just excellent. And as is customary here, when I'm doing guitar stuff, which is, I don't know, it's like what we do, is I try to take something from the player and give you something that you could work on that could help you play it in a style like whoever we happen to be watching. However, on this example, I think what I'm gonna show you is one of the most rewarding things, but also one of the most boring things. So I think that the one of the key things that he had, like I said, is shifting. So what is a shift, right? A shift is really simple. It's when we move our hand from one portion of the fretboard to another, right? That's not a big deal. We all, as guitarists, every guitarist in the world moves their hand from one to another. The question is, how much silence is there between the shifts? So let's, let's pretend you were like a, um, a, a rookie, 
but you still knew like jazz chords. So let's say you're going from a C major 7 to a D minor 7, 9. So a rookie might be like... And you hear all the silence. So what you want to see is how, how quickly can you move from the sound of the C major 7 to the D minor 7, 9. It's what you don't hear that's the hard part. It's the lack of silence that's the hard part. In case you want those, the chord, it's uh, your C major 7, it's 3, 5, 4, 5. And if you're D minor 7, 9, it's uh, 5, 3, 5, 5. Right? Now you could add some other stuff in there. Arpeggio work. Ooh, I missed. I still miss. Let me see why it's hard. You could do tremolo in there. But the idea is to quickly go to the next chord. So that's your, your challenge. Your challenge is to take a chord, and I'm, I, you notice I'm not using any open strings on these chords, uh, because open strings make things easier. So take a chord where you have all the notes fretted, and then move to another note, another chord where everything is fretted. Like I said, it's, it's, the, as a guitarist, you care because it helps you make transitions and shifts quicker on your instrument and more effectively. The audience does not care. What the audience cares about is whether or not the music sounds good. And lots of little silences that you don't plan on having makes your music sound unprepared. So you want to get rid of those silences and in case what's up cat the coochie's here jump up <laughs> meong I don't know um if you know the classical scales from Segovia you could also work those they just have the, some good shifts in them too um I'm not going to teach you those right now but in case you've seen it's like a C major scale so for a second octave we put a shift in there Right, shift, 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 shift. That's all I got to say about that. I think I talked for too long already. And the coochie's here, so I got to scratch your head. Can I be can I can I, can I be transparent for a second? We're at nine minutes and thirty seconds, and I'm gonna get a reward. I think I think for doing this weird video, I think if I get to ten minutes, I think it's gonna help. So if, if it's okay with you, I'm just gonna go ahead and scratch the coochie's head, and I'm gonna put the coochie on camera, and we'll spend now like. 15 seconds holding a kitty cat. Is it okay with you? Can you be on camera for like 10 seconds? We gotta work the algorithm, man. The algorithm. We gotta hack it. You know what I'm saying? I don't normally stretch videos out. This is like the 
first one ever that I've intentionally strung out. But I think his playing was awesome. And the longer I stress the video out, the more likely it is that YouTube will recommend other people to check this video out, which means more people will see me, more people will see him, more people will see your comments, more people will see my cat. That's a win, 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 win. I should have done different figures. Win, 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 win. Anyways, we made it. So now we can all go. Whatever. Thanks. Appreciate you.